Hi everyone, this is Wayne Chang with Keller Williams Realty. Today, we're gonna to talk about three things that buyers usually freak out about, but actually turn out to be not such a big deal. Welcome back everybody. My name is Wayne Chang with Keller Williams Realty. Today, we're gonna to talk about three things that a lot of buyers freak out about during escrow, but actually aren't such a big deal. So, I got some visual aids for us today. This guy. The first thing that people freak out about is this. This is a termite. So uh, if you're like me, before I got into real estate, I used to think that termites come in these swarms, like in the cartoons, they, they swarm a house and, and seconds later it's down to the studs, a pile of sawdust, and that's it. In actuality, termites actually eat your house really slowly. And in California, the weather conditions are just perfect. It's got the right amount of humidity in the air. Everything's constructed out of wood. And uh, we're, we're close to the coast, which is a perfect environment for termites. So pretty much every single house that's 10 years or older is gonna have termites. And if the termite inspector isn't finding termites in the house, Usually that just means we need to get a new termite inspector. So it's very common to have termites. Virtually every house has it. Out of 500 transactions I've done in the last uh, eight or nine years, I would say only two homes did not have termites in it. And that's it. Everybody else had termites. So the common treatments for those are localized treatments where they inject poison into the wood and kill off the termites or they need to tent the house and they do the wood repairs and get termite section one clearance. So totally normal guys. Don't freak out if you see termites, okay? All right, the second thing that uh, a lot of buyers freak out about is this, asbestos. Uh, asbestos is everywhere. So contrary to popular belief, asbestos actually is legal to use today. In the 1970s, late 1970s, the government did pass some restrictions and regulations that kind of helped to slow down the amount of uh, asbestos that was being used, but it still exists. It's perfectly legal. However, most uh, new construction, they will not use asbestos because everybody has uh, you know, a, 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 a bad opinion about asbestos, but um, homes that are built in the 1970s and before usually have it in the popcorn ceilings, in insulation, and also in your HVAC ducting. And as long as the asbestos is not uh, compromised, uh, you know, the ducting is still intact, it's not crushed, or the drywall is still encapsulating the insulation, or the popcorn ceiling is still intact, it's totally okay. Um, asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral fiber um, that's in nature. And the only reason uh, that we should be concerned about it is when it's disturbed. So if you're, if you're scraping old popcorn ceilings, you might want to get that tested first or you're replacing ducting, you might want to get it tested. So the only way to find out if you actually have asbestos in your walls or anywhere in your, on your property is to have it tested. So don't assume um, that just because you hear asbestos that it's bad. It's, it's actually everywhere. So it's okay as long as it's uh, intact, okay? All right, so that's number two. Number three, our favorite is mold. Uh, you know, that has become a bad word in real estate in the last 10 years because people freak out about mold. But in actuality, mold spores are everywhere. You're probably breathing in thousands and thousands of mold spores every single day. And 99.9% .9 of mold is not dangerous. And as a matter of fact, uh, when you test inside the house and outside, the, the mold count, spore count is probably the same. And the only way to really know what kind of mold is in your house is to get a professional come and test it. So they do an air sample outside, then they do another air sample inside, they compare in the lab what kind of mold spores uh, are in your house. And what about the color of mold? People freak out about black mold. Um, but in actuality, it's not the color of the mold that determines whether it's dangerous or not. Mold can range from black, brown, pink, green, uh, there, there's, there's a whole range of colors and the same type of mold will have different colors throughout its lifetime. The one we're talking about where people usually freak out black mold is actually a strain called Stachybotrys. If you see that one, uh, even in, in its early stages in life, it's actually not toxic. It's when it uh, dries up and starts releasing the spores all throughout the house, then it's dangerous. But, um, you know, that, that is probably the main one. The other ones uh, are, are individual, 
uh, to, to each of us. It's kind of like an allergy. Some people are allergic to cats or peanuts and others aren't. Mold is the same way. Some people react differently to one type of mold and very differently to another type of mold. So the only way to find out is if you're really concerned is to get an air sample uh, tested at the lab and then you get a report back and you, and you uh, determine whether you're allergic to that kind or not. But just remember, mold spores are everywhere and most of the time, not dangerous, really cosmetic and it's just ugly to look at, okay? So those are the three things that buyers usually freak out about but end up being not as big of a deal as most people think. If there are other topics that you'd like me to cover, just let me know. Again, my name is Wayne Chang with Keller Williams Realty. My contact information is right at the bottom of the screen and I'll be happy to make a new video for you if you have a topic for me to cover, okay? Have a great day, happy new year, see you next time.